welcome back to my channel happy new year we are in 2023 can you actually believe it as you can see new year new background oh my god this is I, i'm just obsessed i absolutely love this background if you haven't seen my what i got for my birthday video then you wouldn't know but i got a neon sign with my name how bloody cute is that I'm just absolutely obsessed with the sign and yeah I wanted it for the background of my videos have it as a simple background so obviously we've got a grey wall pink light and then obviously my background of pillows um yeah this is my new filming room filming setup it's the spare bedroom in our house and yeah I just love it I am obsessed so I just thought what better way to kickstart January in the new year than to show you my new filming background and actually film in it I have been dying to film in it I thought while it was Christmas I may as well use the Christmas tree as the background because Christmassy and Christmas vibes and everything like that so that is why I use the Christmas tree now here we are but yeah, today's video is going to be an iPhone unboxing and I'm going to be unboxing the iPhone 14 Pro. So if you don't know already, in May of last year, I got the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Absolutely love that phone and still do love that phone. A little disclaimer, this phone isn't actually mine that I'm unboxing, it's actually Sam's. But I know you all enjoy these videos and you know what, I love filming these videos so I just thought... I'm going to unbox his and he, he told me to do it as well. He was like, no, I'm not going to set my phone up until you've unboxed it on YouTube anyway. And it would just be cool to compare. So yeah, we're going to compare the 14 Pro to my 13 Pro Max. Like I say, I absolutely love my 13 Pro Max and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. But I'm excited to see what the 14 Pro is like as well. I'm going to stop rambling now. If you do enjoy, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Make sure you go follow me over on my Instagram and my TikTok. And without further ado, let's get on into the unboxing video. So, here is the iPhone 14 Pro in a little box. Sam picked this colour in black. I think it's classed as midnight though. Um... Oh no it's not, it's iPhone 14 Pro Space Black, it's not Midnight. I think Midnight was the one with like the bluey tinge and I'm sure my stepdad's just got that one. So Sam picked the black one, Space Black, he used to have the iPhone, was it the iPhone 11? Or it might have been, no he didn't have the iPhone 11, the iPhone 8? Oh my gosh i can't even remember was there ever an iphone 9 i swear there wasn't an iphone 9 doesn't sound right does it um i can't remember what iphone he had but he had a space gray iphone i can't remember what one it was but that was a while ago but yeah he had a space gray one um but now he's got a space black so yeah this is what it looks like the box got the iPhone and then the Apple logos there. I still will never get used to the small iPhone boxes. I understand why they do it but yeah. Let's do the satisfying bit and peel off the little tapes. One and then two. It's not as satisfying anymore without the plastic wrap but oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that. Wow, the cameras look so big on this because I'm used to seeing the three cameras on my big iPhone, whereas on this they look even bigger. So here's the iPhone. How gorgeous is that matte black? Wow, I'm actually obsessed. I love that it's matte. Oh my god, that is so nice. Look how big the cameras are. I'm really nervous to hold it. So here are, oh god, I'm gonna get fingerprints all on the sides. Sorry, Sam. So here are the sides. They're like the nice mirrored, like metallic. Excuse if you can see my fingerprints. And then obviously you've got the lock button there. The three cameras on the back. And then the silence button and the up and down volume. And then obviously the little port. Wow, this is so cute. Let's take this off 
I told him that he needs to get a screen protector because he didn't actually buy one. He did buy a case though, so I'm going to put that on it for him. He's actually away this week, so he can't get this phone until the weekend. So there is the phone screen. We're going to turn it on and everything as well. Love the colour. There's nothing better than like just a black phone really, but I don't think... I I've never had a black phone actually. Oh, I did. My Blackberry. My Blackberry Curve was a black phone. But I think that's the only black phone I've ever had. I've always like liked to colour or had white, basically. But anyway, I'm going to compare to my iPhone. So I have got the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Please excuse the state of it if you can see fingerprints and whatever else on it. But obviously... It's a used iPhone, it's not a brand new one anymore like this one is. So I'm going to just do the comparison. So mine's the Pro Max, so obviously it's that bit bigger. It looks like so. So I got mine in Sierra Blue. I still, I'm obsessed with this colour. I love it so much. So my side, the sides on my phone have got like the mirrored blue sides. And obviously Sam's is like a grey. And then the cameras, I don't know if you can see because of the reflection, but Sam's cameras kind of look bigger. They are. They are bigger. I didn't realise that. No wonder they look like they looked bigger. It's because they are bigger. I'm going to try and show you, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But the cameras, I'm trying not to get the reflection in. Yeah, the cameras on this phone are bigger. Yeah, you can see that. Wow. They just keep getting bigger and bigger, don't they? Like, they kind of stick out as well, look. If I can... Like, they kind of stick out off of the phone. This is the size comparison anyway, side by side, as you can see. And then also we'll do the on top of each other as well so obviously my phone is taller and a little bit wider Sam doesn't really like big iPhones because they can't fit in his pocket then so that's why he's chose just to have the pro or the normal like standard size but this is my first like pro max like obviously they did the Max versions in other versions of iPhone as well. But yeah, this is my first time having the Pro Max and I don't know if I'll go back, you know, because I do love the bigger iPhone. This is the screen on mine. Let me turn the brightness up and get rid of these notifications one sec. And then let's turn Sam's on. I'll open his case as well. I don't know what case he's chosen. Probably just a clear one knowing him. I quite like a clear one too. Oh wow, that's different. So, the first thing I've noticed that is different oh, is this bit on the top here, as you can see. Oh, it's telling me set up no iPhone. No, this is not my phone. Um, Yeah, this bit here, the speaker. Oh, no, it's not the speaker. It's the camera. It's the front camera, as you can see. So my front camera is up here, so it's like got a cut out. I don't know which one I prefer, you know. I think I prefer mine. Because it's just like a random circle in the middle of the screen, or oval. But yeah, that's what the new one looks like. Very different. Because the speaker's still in the same place. The speaker's right up here. And it's the same on mine, look there. But yeah, so that's the different thing. No, I do not want to set up the new iPhone. It's not mine. But yeah, there is the screen size comparison, as you can see. I said to Sam, does he want me to set the, like, phone up for him? Because he's going to be setting it up as a brand new iPhone anyway. So he said that, yeah, I can. Um, so I'm going to do that. Before we do dive into the actual phone, I'm going to quickly show you what comes in the box. Not really much to show you nowadays because they have really minimised what comes in this box. So obviously, you get your terms and conditions in this little like pouch so like all your instructions terms and conditions and things here which you should probably read but majority of us probably do not read you get your little apple sticker standard 
and then also your little sim card pin there two so that all comes in that little pouch and then the last thing in the box you get your wire which is a USB-C to iPhone adapter wire and obviously you never get plugs with them anymore so this is like another like marketing thing for them so then they get you to buy the plugs because obviously if you're upgrading then all the other iPhones I think all the other iPhones before the iPhone 13 um, all had the USB like plugs and chargers whereas now they changed it to USB-C so as soon as you upgrade from that phone to the newer ones then you're a bit stuffed because these wires do not fit into your old plugs which is a bit of a ball ache to be honest but yeah that is everything that you get in the box <laughs> not really much i still i wish you still got the headphones because i actually love the wired headphones that you used to get with the iphone because the airpods just don't fit in my ears as much as i really want some airpods they like sam has them and they just do not fit in my ears they just fall out all the time because i think my ears are just too small whereas the ones with the wires actually do fit but yeah anyway that is everything that came in the box i'm now going to quickly set up his iphone for him and then obviously i can show you like the different things on it don't think there is going to be that much difference so we are all set up oh my god the brightness is very low we're all set up as you can see so i've done everything for sam i've set up his new icloud account because he wanted a new fresh start he even wanted a new fresh icloud account um that's not linked to his email so he just wanted a full new thing um so i've literally just done his old passcode for his old phone also set the uh like mode you know when you can do the light mode or dark mode he always loves having it dark i don't know why but he just does so i've chose the dark mode for him as well and then obviously you've just got the standard apps that come with the iphone there so now that is all ready for him when he gets home so now the next thing to do is open his case so he just got this one from amazon i think it was um it says for iphone 6.1 inch hopefully it's the right size we'll see but yeah I, i'm guessing it's just going to be a clear case yeah it is yeah it's just like a hard durable um clear case which is actually what he needs because he drops his phone all the time. He literally just dropped his phone that obviously he's got now yesterday and cracked all the camera screen. I was like, wow, thank God it's not this phone that you took with you to work then. He's actually so clumsy. Right, let's wipe the phone and pop it in its case so then it's all ready to go. But you know what? The only thing I just don't like is the fingerprints that you get on the sides they get so like smeary because of the mirrored sides let's pop it in oh he actually did choose the right size he's not he's not that dumb oh i've just put the torch on oh that actually feels really nice so there it is in its case and you can actually still see the phone color and that as well it does kind of like obviously take away the matteness of it but i love the finish of the new iphones because they're like that frosted like finish <laughs> but yeah there we go there is the iphone 14 pro all set up um i'm really excited to see what the camera quality is like on this so now when sam takes my picture we don't have to go oh use my phone use my phone because he's actually got a good iphone camera now what iphone is he upgrading up from i think he's got the yeah he's got the iphone 12 at the minute so he's missed obviously a upgrade with the 13 and 13 pro max etc um but yeah he's going from a 12 to a 14 pro so yeah that is the unboxing of the iPhone 14 Pro. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments down below. Do subscribe if you enjoy these videos because any tech-related things, especially Apple products, I'll always do a box opening on here because I just love doing them and I find them really intriguing to watch as well. Like whenever I'm getting a new iPhone, I binge iPhone unboxing videos like there's no tomorrow. So yeah, if you're one of them people watching this video right now, then hi, <laughs> I'm just like you. 
Um, but yeah, anyway, I do really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Make sure you go follow me over on my Instagram and my TikTok. And yeah, I will see you next time for a brand new video. Bye, everyone.